over to the uh, main card. First fight on the main card, you have Mershrot against Muradov. Uh, Mershrot is a plus 440 under or underdog. Muradov is a minus 650 favorite. Uh, Muradov is 25 and 6. Uh, he has good striking. He's 5 and 0 in his last five. He has 17 wins by uh, knockout. And he has good takedown defense. Uh, Mershaw is 32 and 14. He will have a two and a half inch reach advantage in his fight. He has strong grappling. Uh, out, out of his 32 wins, he has 24 wins by submission. He is two and three in his last fight. Uh, I like Muradov in this fight uh, by a TKO or KO. I think Mur- uh, I like I think Muradov is going to get the knockout in this fight. Uh, should be should be an in- interesting fight though. It's an interesting matchup here. Next fight on the main card, you have Andre Petrowski against Michael Gilmore. Uh, Petrowski is a five minus five ninety favorite. Gilmore is a plus four ten underdog. Uh, Petrowski is five and one. Uh, he has three wins by a uh, knockout or TKO. He is four and one in his last five fights. He has po- he's a powerful striker and he has good wrestling. Uh, Gilmore is six and three. He has three wins by uh, TKO or knockout. He will have a one inch reach advantage in this fight. He has decent wrestling. And uh, good karate. He's four and one in his last five. I like Petrowski here. I think his pressure will be will be uh, too much. And uh, but like I said, he's at minus five ninety, so that's off the steep. So I'm not going. I ain't going to take him on the money line. Uh, let me see what the odds are down here, real quick. Uh, I like the, uh, what I li- like would recommend in this fight is you can get Andre, you can do, if you do it on FanDuel, you can get the double chance and you can get Andre Petrowski to win by KO, TKO or on points uh, at plus 125. Uh, you can get Petrowski to win by submission or on, or on points at minus 165. So a lot, uh, so I mean, they, they think there's a good chance that Petrowski is going to get a, uh, Get a submission here. Uh, I kind of lean more toward the knockout TKO or on points. But you can get that plus 125 or you can get the submission run points at minus 165. Uh, but I like uh, I like Petrowski in this fight. Okay, next fight is Daniel Rodriguez against Kevin Lee. And this should be a good fight as well. Uh, Rodriguez is a plus one thirty underdog. Lee is a minus one sixty favorite. Lee is eighteen and six. He has eight wins by submission. He'll have a three inch reach advantage in this fight. He has good wrestling, and he is two and three in his last five. Uh, he he weighs one hundred fifty eight pounds. This fight's being fought at one seventy. So he's he's like an in between guy, in, in between weight classes. Uh, he usually fights down a weight class. Rodriguez is f- fifteen and two. He's four and one in his last five. Uh, he's a good kickboxer. He has eight wins by knockout. Uh, he, he weighs right at one hundred seventy pounds. Uh, he's a high volume guy. Uh, I like Rodriguez here at the plus one thirty. I think his pressure and volume. Uh, is going to overwhelm Rodriguez, or not, excuse me, Lee. Uh, I think Rodriguez's takedown defense is going to be good enough to keep this fight on the feet. Uh, so I like uh, Rodriguez at the minus, or at the plus 130 money line. Then this next fight's also going to be an interesting fight. This fight's for the, uh, ba- the Bantamweight Tough title. You have uh, Brady Heiston or Heiston against Ricky Turquois. Uh, Heiston's plus one thirty eight underdog. Turquoise is a minus one seventy favorite. Uh, Turquoise a t- 
10 and 2. He's 3 and 2 in his last five. He's a well balanced fighter. Uh, he's good in open space. Uh, Houston is uh, 5 and 1, 4 and 1 in the last five. Uh, has good pressure, good wrestling. He's also a well balanced fighter. Uh, I think uh, Turquoise experience and uh, his takedown defense is going is what's going to win him this fight. I think he's going to be able to get this fight to the ground and uh, put some ground and pound on Heisen. It's going to be an interesting fight. I lean toward uh, Turquoise here, but I could see. I could also see Heiston win this fight. So this is a, a tricky fight to pick. But I like uh, Turquoise on this fight at the minus 170 money line. Next fight is the middleweight uh, tough final. You have Brian Battle against Gilbert Urbina. Uh, Battle is 5-1. and one. He has three wins by submission. He has a three-inch three, three inch reach advantage in this fight. He's uh, both these guys are well balanced, well rounded fighters. Urbina is six and one. He has great wrestling. Uh, I like battle here. I think he's just going to be a little too much for Urbina at the one minus at the minus one sixty two money line. I think it, I just think his pressure is going to be a, a little much, and I think he's I think he can his takedown defense is going to be the key. If he can keep this fight on his feet, he has a good shot, but he can't let Arena get into a wrestling match. And then in the main event of the evening, you have Edson Barboza versus Giga Chikadazi. This has the makings to be an awesome fight. Uh Barbosa is a minus 115 on the money line. Chikadazi is minus 105 on the money line. So even the sports books, the bookies in Vegas have this as almost a pick them. Uh, Barbosa is 22 and 9. He is 2 and 3 in his last five. Has great striking. Uh, good gas tank. Moves forward. Puts a high volume guy. He'll have a one inch reach advantage in this fight. He has 13 wins by a TKO or KO. Uh, Chikadazi is 13 and 2. He has seven win- seven wins by knockout. He's also on a five a five fight win streak. Uh, this is going to be a real good, I think a real good fight. I think Barboza's striking and his uh, power is going to be a little too much for Chikadazi. Uh, I like Barboza at the minus 115 on the money line. All right, that's.